on the roundabout woodworks and today I'm going to turn a pin. I was given a, recently I was given a, a chunk of uh, post oak which is in the white oak family uh, and it had been sitting in somebody's firewood pile for years. It was about 16, 18 inches in diameter or uh, 16 or 18 inches in length and about 10, 11, 12 inches in diameter. It, it varied. And it had been sitting for quite some time. It was full of amps and uh, checks almost all the way through. But I was able to get a bowl blank out of it, and that wound up being a 9 inch diameter bowl. Uh, a couple of box blanks, actually, four box blanks. One of them is not going to be any good to turn, but, so let's call that three box blanks, and some pen blanks. Uh, the first time I saw anybody turn a pen like this was on videotape. Dennis Stewart, uh, one of his videos, he turned a pen like this. And uh, his went together real easily. And I've seen a couple other people turn them on YouTube, and theirs go together real easily. Uh, I drilled a 1 8 diameter hole for the ink tube and a 5 30 seconds diameter hole and enlarge the, the 1 8 hole to 5 30 seconds diameter to actually hold the, the nib. I don't think it's actually called a nib, but the part where the, the wide part. Um, you're also going to see me burning some grooves on the pen. And the reason that you don't see smart people using copper wire is because uh, by the time it gets hot enough to burn the wood, it, the, the heat, copper conducts heat so well that by the time it gets hot enough to burn the wood, it also was hot enough to burn your fingers. But the burns heal, I guess. Anyway, the reason I use copper wire is because I'm not smart, and uh, that's all I had. I didn't have any other wire. So you probably shouldn't use copper if you can avoid it. Anyway, I'm going to make a pen out of post oak. Enjoy the video. Ninety one degrees in the shop.